So I know that a lot of musicians have to kind of teach themselves a little bit of the technical side, especially when they're setting up like their own microphones, their own amps and whatnot. But do you, would you recommend that musicians might want to consider being sound technicians or at least teaching themselves that to get good Well, pay? it's, I think a, a, most, a lot of drummers today know how to mic their own drums. Like I go to a lot of clinics and things like that and they're always, they know what they're doing. They do their own mic setup and give you a MIDI out that you can plug into whatever PA or sound system you're using and you know because everything goes through their laptops and mm -hmm. if someone were interested in going that going that room becoming a technician what would you say is the best way to get started depending if you want to just be a sound tech then you know you got to hang around with the bands and learn how to mic a mm -hmm. drum kit an amp for a bass and a guitar, you know, you just, either nowadays, I'm sure you can just plug right into them. The old days, you just put a mic in front of their cabinet. Yeah. One on each side, the drums were different because, you know, right. you had to mic the whole drum. If you want to really project the drums, you can use just overheads and like a couple of good overheads and a bass drum mic and 57 go into the snare and Wait. If you have two rack toms and two mics close to each other, you're going to get bleed. Right. So the overheads avoid that. Oh, okay. I see. They will, if they're good, that's where the thing is. That's mm -hmm. the quality, right? For sure. Now, you see people mic kick drums. They make the hole. I don't use hole. Because the hole, you either go beside the hole or you have to go in the hole. You don't go in front of the hole. Well, every time you kick, you wouldn't believe the air pressure that comes out of that hole. Right. So you're just going to hear... <laughs> oh, I see. So you want to go beside or you're, the best place is in the drum. Where you're in the middle and you're not getting the air, the force of air. And you how know. long were you doing that, the, tech, the technician? I just did it for about a year. I mean, you know, it was just setting up, miking, you know, doing a sound check. It all ran through a board. I think today's probably, you don't need as much gear as you did back then. You can do a lot with the electronics. I mean, you know, just mic in a drum kit is, I use just a, you know, audio interface. Just plugs into that, direct the laptop, and you can mix the, mix the whole band on the laptop. What's your usual setup for a mixer? You said you plug into the laptop. What do you usually use to edit and whatnot? I use, for in this room, because of the wood floors, it's a great sounding room. I use two overheads, good overhead mics, one drum kick mic, and I run the three into an audio interface. It plugs into my laptop. I use, you know, there's audio software for mixing. Mm -hmm. I use Mixcraft. Okay. And that, you know, all, anything audio goes into that, mm -hmm. and then I record at whatever levels I have set and then I can mix it down afterwards if you want to add effects or whatever. When I do my video and audio, I use Adobe Premiere for that. Mm. Okay, so I guess it's <clears throat> kind of like whatever you are comfortable with and whatnot. Yeah, most guys use, it's just because, you know, I use the, um, for the mix craft, I use my regular laptop with Windows, but Premiere I use through my Mac. Right. So it just depends. Pro Tools is great. There's lots of great software out there. 